Hello, all you first-year students. This is your friendly neighborhood professor uh, sending you this video um, about the, uh, the first writing assignment. Um, things seem to go very well today at the lecture. Um, everybody found me, and I did try to ask people if, if they were clear on the first assignment. But um, before on the Course Connect page, this um, link to where you upload your written uh, paper uh, was not there, so it is there now, and I just want to sh explain a little bit. I don't. I expect that you haven't used Turnitin.com before, um, which is uh, where this will um, take your paper. But um, I just wanted to walk you through a few things. Okay, so um, the writing assignment for for the first paper is is right here above it. Okay, but I want to make sure you understand the assignment too. Um, with um oh something's going wrong here okay all right uh, so with this one that I gave out in the in the classroom even though I want you to read it and I want you to work on marking up your texts um, uh, that's not really relevant to this first writing assignment it's these two uh, essays that you were supposed to have read before the lecture today. If you did not, you please just make sure you do read them. All right, and then um, uh, those are the two readings that that combined with the lecture is what the writing assignment is about. So when, I'm not going to open up the uh, writing assignment because it's kind of long and it'd be hard to put on the screen. But um, it does ask you to consider what was said in the lecture and what was said in the um, in the in the two essays regarding a liberal arts education, one thing I just a side note I um, I noticed that in one of the readings and both of the speakers today mentioned uh, Socrates and Socrates is a, a great um, champion as far as for me personally and so uh, it makes sure you pay attention to the parts in Socrates because <coughs> um, I'm I'm probably going to talk about Socrates a little bit. I think I had a little blip there, but I think it's still working. I'll be uh, I'm, I plan on talking with Socrates a little bit next week. Okay, so uh, so what you do then is you read the two essays. You hopefully took notes during the lecture today. You read carefully the instructions uh, for the writing assignment here, and then you write your um, your paper. Which and and the instructions tell you how long the paper should be and what questions you should be thinking about and answering. Okay, so just read it carefully. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, contact me by email or phone. Um, and then, uh, when you are ready to, and you have a word process document, and you're going to upload it, first you just click on that link there. And then what's going to happen is you're going to uh, go to a page that looks like this. This is actually just the upper left corner of what that page will look like. But this is a pretty simple thing. Um, all you need to do, uh, the next step, is to look at this tab here, Submit Paper. And that's what you're going to click on to, um, to get started with the process. And then the next image, the next page, uh, will show you a little bit more specifically. Actually, when you click on uh, Submit Paper, you're going to get a page that asks uh, for you to choose what kind of file format. Uh, so I'm going to skip that um, that page and then go to the next one after you fi uh, do that. So um, here we go again. Okay, and now uh, when it asks you uh, submission type, or I would say I said format type or whatever, but when it asks you for that, um, I would click on file upload is what you, the kind that you're doing. Okay, so oops, um, I need to check on click on something else here. So all right, so file upload. Uh, it, I think there's two choices, and I would choose file upload. Uh, you need to type in your name, and I typed in mine. Uh, you want to give your paper a title. It can be the title that you have on your uh, when you typed it up, uh, or a different title doesn't matter. And then you want to uh, choose. You click on choose file. Um, and it will prompt you, you know, it'll give you a box and you can go and find on your computer 
what file it is that your paper has. And then when all that's done, then you click on add a submission or add submission, and then you should be all set. Uh, once it's there, um, I uh, will read it online, and you do not do not have to print anything out. So if you do have Pro, any questions or problems with this process, let me know. Occasionally, um, some students have uh, issues. I mean, I think I've had students who, uh, when they use a Mac, maybe have a, some problems. But um, otherwise, it's a pretty, um, pretty I wouldn't say seamless process, but it's a pretty uh, effective process. So good luck with any reading that you have left on that. Uh, hopefully, you've done that already. Good luck with the writing. And... Um, one other thing I just thought I would mention, too, and I think I might have mentioned it in class. While um, we do want you to uh, write well, and we want you to think about what you're writing, uh, we're not going to treat this course as much as a writing course or an English course. Uh, we're not going to take off lots of points. I mean, if, if, the, if you have serious issues, that could be a, uh, something of a problem. But we're not going to be nitpicking every little grammatical uh, problem with your paper. We want you to be to show that you've thought about the material. That's like the most important thing. Okay, so let me know if you have any questions or concerns.